Everybody's been asking for an update on the church, and I felt like this shirt was appropriate. It's good <laughs> enough, the church update, a few weeks before we start moving stuff in. Yeah, we have most of the major stuff done. There's a little bit of electrical that needs done. That'll probably take me about a week. The floors need done. That's going to be another week. And then some trim and we should be able to move in. It looks rough, but it, it's gonna come together quick. It is rough and it's gonna take longer than we expect. But we're gonna show you some design choices we've been working on, an update on the garden and maybe some animals. We have these giant fans, they show black, but they're actually supposed to be white, so I hope that they are. We should open them up um, and check. Yeah, we probably should. They are 84 inches, so they're huge. We have two of these for the main part of the church, and we may be getting a smaller one um, for the stage. And then we're doing four of these chandeliers. I wanted something simple and timeless, and this just really spoke to me. Nothing too fancy, because the church just isn't super fancy. And then for like the workhorse lighting, we're just using tracks because then we can position them any way that we want to. And I think that we have like, I don't know, uh, 12, 12 total of, them, yeah. of these going in. So these would be nice so we don't have any shadows and whatnot. Plus if I have to add more, they're cheap and it's pretty easy. So the, so the big fans are gonna be positioned about right there and right over there. We're gonna center them up on the ceiling here on those rafters. And then the track lighting will be more closer towards the edge along here. And then those chandeliers are gonna run along here. And over here in the center, we may do a really huge chandelier. We might splurge and get one nice and fancy, or we might DIY it. Let us know in the comments below if you wanna see us DIY one. We may or may not have time to do it and we might have to buy one anyway, but I've been looking at some fun designs. Zeb has been honing in on his plaster skills. It's mostly ready. We've got a few chippy things to fix and then uh, some random uh, insulation. Yeah. It's not been pulled down. It looks weird because it's all different colors. It's like brown and green and black and someone graffitied on it. And then it has all my plaster repairs that haven't all been sanded just yet. Once it's painted, it's gonna look good. I think we're gonna go like a light grayish taupe color just to make it stand out. So up here on the stage, this is a probably our largest wall with no windows. There used to be this door was right here where I'm standing and I've drywalled over it and patched it as best I can, which is not great. Luckily, we're putting a big built-in for paint and supplies all along here. Luckily for you. How high can you reach, Jamie? So the, the top shelf will probably be about this high and then I'll build it big enough we can do some fun big display stuff up above. But r imagine this with like apothecary mercantile style shelving all across this whole wall. I don't know if it's going to be that fancy but there's going to be <laughs> shelving and some pegboard because we have to fit IOD, DIY and then in here we're going to have a standalone like aisle kind of between these two windows yep. because we have so much DIY supplies that I'm just hoping we can fit it all in. We are gonna put the fireplace back. I have no idea how we're gonna do clothing because our current rack system is not gonna work. So this wall won't be displays because that's gonna have the fireplace in there. And then you can see here the floor patches that are, that are going in. Most of this will probably be covered up with like stuff and we won't see it. Some of it might be seen, but the conditions of these floors, I'm really not gonna sweat it and we're keeping the originals in here. So at this point, we just gotta get moved in. Maybe down the road, we might replace all of the 130 year old flooring, but we'll see. I don't think we will. Like part of the charm is that these are the original floors that were in here. And I would rather have patches than have new flooring. Cause that's just who I am. You know, if I could do it over, I would have like a professional come in and pat, like feather it. But that's like, a lot of money. And I could probably actually do that, but I just don't have the time. Ain't nobody got time. So picture a bunch of like trim on here and then these windows are getting trimmed out too. If you guys recall, this is where the big rock fireplace used to be that everybody was like, no, but I'm so glad that it's been taken down because we're gonna trim these windows out. The mantle that we did a few weeks ago and did a video on will go in here when we're done with the floors. So the entryway back there is largely going to stay unchanged. We're keeping that old chandelier as well. The, and door, then, the door is getting painted. The, yeah, the door will be painted. And we'll paint the walls. Uh, right here where we're standing, I got to, this is center on these windows here. These two, these four windows. 
This is the center of the room. This is gonna be like a sales kiosk where you check out and where you're greeted and all those fancy it's things. It's gonna be like this. Yeah, it'll be like a U shape. It's gonna be a checkout counter here and then open on both sides and then a big work table behind. We actually already bought the work table. It's in the trailer. It's, it's too heavy for her to move. Monstrous, <laughs> so it's gonna hang out there for a while. And I can't move it by myself, so we gotta wait until Harrington's got a free second. But we gotta do the floors first anyway. In an effort to use up my giant pile of lath, we are gonna do a faux beadboard with the lath across this drywall here, and then we'll trim it all out so that'll cover the front of the stage, and the look will really mimic the design style that we have going here. I think drywall is just too modern for the stage. Yeah, using up some lath because the pile is giant. My discount flowers are actually doing pretty good, except for my impatience, because apparently those are supposed to be partial shade, which obviously this is full sun, and some of my wildflowers that I planted two months ago are finally coming up. This is my gorgeous zucchini, and we have these curling leaves. See that dead situation there? That's what started happening with that, and now that that's all that's left. And so I looked up online, it says you're supposed to put diatomaceous earth down on the bottom. I think it's diatomaceous. Dio diatomaceous. Whatever, it, I'm gonna put some, because look, it's happening on this one too. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put some on. We got this down at the feed store. You can get it at most hardware stores. And it came with this applicator in the bag and you just. Are you spraying that? I think you're supposed to spray the dirt. You can spray the dirt, you spray the leaves, the underside of the leaves if they're curling because they like they can get spider mites and things on them. But, well, I don't know if this is gonna help, but this is like a Hail Mary. Because I don't want to put chemicals on it. I wanted to show you guys, we did this for channel membership, but it's just an old milk can that was here on the property and an old bowl. I painted them with cottage colors with no sealer and it's held up really, really well. They get watered every nice. day and rained on and the paint so far is holding up well. The oak table was left here by Jean and it's been hanging out at Harrington's cottage. He's decided to get something else. So we're gonna drill a hole through the top here to fit the umbrella. And then we're just gonna paint it up super cute for Waste Not Wednesday. I have four old dining chairs that are metal that we're gonna paint to match it. And we'll have a little dining set because in all of our spare time, we're gonna eat breakfast in the garden. I don't know, but I thought it would look good. The uh, sheep and a few of the birds are enjoying the shade. It's almost 100 degrees today. And I think the rest of the birds are all in the coop. Yep. I thought by now they would all be like grown in. Like filled in? Yeah. No, oh, that takes years. It's not gonna take years. That yeah, takes years to fill in that much space. They're already like grown in on that corner over there. Those are like superstar marigolds. It's like the official way to water flowers here. Our goal next year is to get very eco-friendly water systems all on timers. Thanks for joining us on our garden walk. Hopefully the next time you see this, a lot of those things we were just talking about are starting to happen and it's coming together. We have to be out of our existing place and cleaned up by the end of August and there's kind of a lot of stuff. So we've got to be moved in here, like starting to move in the end of July, beginning of August. So that gives us plenty of time to get all the way out and cleaned up. So. We're going to get to work. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.